um, hey Leslie, um, you were right um, to ask the president for help. Um, she's like mega smart, uh, <laughs> and so like she's no one can even get, no one even approaches how smart she is. Um, you know, it's just because I don't have any friends. <laughs> Um, because I don't have any friends that will play with me, um, all I can do is study, that's all. Oh, sad. <laughs> mm. uh, Leslie smiled. Well, um, uh, why don't we become friends then, Yui? Um, and she like took her hand. Um, and Hiro said, again? Um, yeah. Because okay, she said, why don't we become friends again, which is a bit weird. And then Hiro was like, again? And then <laughs> she goes, yeah, just like in the past. Um, um, what do you mean like in the past? It makes it sound really old. You're only in the second year of high school, so... Um, Hiro, you have to become Yui's friend as well, okay? Um, uh, if you don't mind hanging out with someone as rough as me... Uh, um, even though he said that, like, he didn't... This, this music is really... <laughs> it's <laughs> distracting! Yeah. Um, he didn't, like, necessarily intend to live as a violent person. It's just kind of the way he came across, I think. Um, but... Um, he was a black belt in karate and kendo. So... And he always, like, protected Leslie from people that would make fun of her. Uh, you know where the mansion is, so let's go, okay? Teddy bear on the bed is really cool. The, but the one on the stand. <laughs> oh, what creepy. about the 80s poster? Yeah, that's <laughs> like really creepy. Mullet tastic. Um, uh, uh, Yui uh, sighed. He's like trying to remember the word for sigh. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, she said <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, This is. Uh, if this really is a letter written by a ghost. Um, if I, I know who wrote this, you know. Um, uh, it's someone who wrote it in their place, right? Um, like, they heard the voice of the ghost and wrote it down. Um, so you're saying they, like, contacted the ghost through telepathy and then wrote down for her, right? Or him, I don't know. And then Yui carried on. Um, it, there's no mistaking that the ghost mansion is on the top of... No, it's deep in the forest <laughs> on the hill. Um, uh, okay, that the ghost didn't like contact like Leslie directly by telepathy. Was that she wasn't close enough? Um, so in that case, um, if that's the case, then the Mansion must be in a place where people can't see it, um, close by to the house where the person who wrote the letter lives. Uh, if you're sure, then we should go, okay? Um, Hiro stood up and said, oh yeah, that's right. And he took a tennis ball out from his pocket. Uh, Miko, he called. And when he did, a, a little cat, a little kitten came out. Me, she said. <laughs> um, oh, whoa. <laughs> that's kind of Oh, here you go. This is a present for you. Um, you love tennis balls, don't you? Uh, you can do. You can play with it however you want. Was it the cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it must be the cat that Leslie keeps. It's really cute. Um, Yui thought, swallowing her breath. That's a little bit creepy. <laughs> um, uh, but there was. She was more than just cute. Uh, Yui looked at the, um, like, little, uh, Miko, the little kitten who was, I think it means like she was just stood stock still there. Um, that, the kitten, isn't she kind of transparent, like see-through? It's like, I get the feeling like she's almost glowing white. Oh, that's because she's a ghost, um, as they said while holding Miko. Uh, she was run over by a car. <laughs> um, so, Miko, can you just look after the house for a bit? Uh, a ghost kitten? And then the cat says, me! <laughs> uh, 
um, people that don't believe that Leslie is a medium, we show her Nico. Um, and then people that doubt her, like, stop doubting. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that certainly seems like there's no doubt about it. Okay, so that just means it can stop. <laughs> okay, so we're in the forest. So the three of them came to... <laughs> it's got like these crazy mushrooms. <laughs> um, they came to the um, like forest hill, the hill in the forest. Um, and the sun was, was like starting to set. Um, more than a forest, it's more like a woods. Which is like bigger than the forest, I suppose. <laughs> um, it's pretty deep, so it's really dark inside. And it's a new moon as well. I don't really get what that has to do with it. <laughs> uh, at their feet, they heard the voice saying, Me! And it seems that Miko had come with them. Uh, Leslie crouched down and went to pick up uh, Miko, but she seemed like she noticed something. And then she said, Mia! And ran into the forest. Oh, Miko. Hey, wait up, Miko. Um, and so, in an instant, um, Miko had disappeared deep into the woods. Uh, I'll bring her back, so you guys wait here, um, Hido said and chased after. Uh, he looked for, like while running, he looked for Miko's little body, like hidden in the overgrowth. Um, like, he's like, hey, stop, Miko. Um, Maybe as a good thing, um, but the fact that she was like a kind of glowed white a bit uh, meant that he didn't lose sight of her in the darkness, he thought, but... Nico? Uh, Hiro came to a stop in the middle of the woods. Uh, he thought he only lost sight of her for a second, but like he'd gone out of her sight for a second, but then he lost sight of her completely. Damn it. Uh, no. I think that means like, oh, cats are really quick or something. Um, maybe she's over here, he thought, and went in one direction. Uh, it seems like she's gone deep into the woods. Can you say why you don't know? I can't worry about it, I think. Uh, I don't know. Um, the wind blew and the overgrowth wiggled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did she say? Like, um, Swayed? Yeah, yeah, like. I don't know what you call that. Um, and uh, Hido's figure like running into the forest disappeared. Um, once Hido disappeared, Yui and Leslie uh, w walked on shakily. Uh, their figures disappeared as well and then time passed. The three did not come back. Do, 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 do. This music is really something. <laughs> um, finally, it became late night and then morning, and then the sun started to set again, um, and they never came back. Oh. The end. Great story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that must have been the opening then. Okay, so that says 24 hours in a uh, ghost mansion, and it's by a person called. What is his name? Takaoku Akemi? Or Akeru? Or something like that. Um, oh, back here. Oh, yes. It's Great. <laughs> in a small white shadow? What? Oh, chasing Hiro chasing after the small white shadow. Um, he finally lost sight of it completely and came to a stop. Damn it. Um, well, the sound of like him pushing through all the overgrowth and it going <laughs> um, like or like the sound of someone going through the the what do you call it? Bush the back. But, yeah, the grass and yeah. stuff. Oh, maybe it's Miko and he turned around, but it was Yui and Leslie. Oh, uh, what are you doing? I told you to wait. What about Miko? I lost sight of her. Uh, Yui looked around and. I can't even understand, like, I can't get a sense of the directions. Um, now I can't work out which way the exit will be. Um, well, let's just get out of the forest, like, for now. Like, just leave once. 
um, and they bring like a compass or a, wait, a compass or a magnet. Compass, must be compass. <laughs> bring, a, a magnet. bring a magnet. Yeah, that's very helpful. Uh, bring a compass. Hopefully, or, the cat's magnetic. Because we need a compass or a torch or something. Yeah, you're right. And they looked around the dark forest, wood, whatever. Um, this wasn't the time for them to be going to help the ghost from the letter. So they left the forest. Oh no, they have to leave the forest and like get properly prepared. Uh, it's the first time Miko has been out for a long time, so she must have been pretty excited. Maybe we should just let her play for a bit. And so the three of them decided that this way must be the exit and started to walk that way. <laughs> um, the wind was blowing and the leaves on the trees were rustling. Uh, 